Question 1. A is a solution obtained by dissolving 31.4 grams of an impure sample iodine in aqueous potassium iodide and the solution made up to 1 dm cube. B is a solution containing 24.8 grams of sodium thiosulfate dissolved in 1 dm cube. Put A into the burette and titrate it against 20 or 25 cm cube portions of B. Use starch solution as indicator. Repeat the titration to obtain concordant tidal values. Tabulate your result and calculate the average volume of A used. The equation of the reaction is as shown on the screen. From your results and information provided, calculate the concentration of B in moles per dm cube, concentration of iodine in A in moles per dm cube, percentage purity of iodine in the sample. Give reasons why the starch indicator was added to the titration mixture at the beginning of the titration. Solution. To calculate the concentration of B in moles per dm cube, we use the formula that connects concentration in moles per dm cube with concentration in grams per dm cube and molar mass, which is concentration of thiosulfate in moles per dm cube is equal to concentration of thiosulfate in grams per dm cube divided by molar mass of sodium thiosulfate. This is because from the information provided, we can obtain the concentration in grams per dm cube and molar mass of the sodium thiosulfate solution. The molar mass of sodium thiosulfate is calculated as shown on the screen, which gives us 158 grams per mole. Substituting the values of the mass concentration or concentration in grams per dm cube and molar mass, we obtain the concentration in moles per dm cube of B as 0.157 moles per dm cube. Ensure all your concentration answers, be it mass or molar concentration, are in three significant figures with the appropriate units. To calculate the concentration of iodine in A in moles per dm cube, we use the mole ratio formula which connects the concentrations and volumes of the iodine and sodium thiosulfate with their number of moles. And that is CAVA over CBVB is equal to NA over NB which can be written as CAVA over CBVB is equal to 1 over 2. We are using this formula because from the information provided, the sample of iodine is impure. So, we cannot use the given concentration in grams per dm cube to calculate the concentration in moles per dm cube as we did for the thiosulfate. Therefore, whenever you are given an impure substance as one of the solutions in your volumetric analysis question, never use that impure concentration in grams per dm cube to calculate the concentration in moles per dm cube of that substance. Please ensure you state the value of the mole ratio as shown in the equation on the screen. Otherwise, you will lose the mark for that step. C is the concentration of iodine in moles per dm cube, which is what we are looking for. CB is the calculated concentration of thiosulfate in moles per dm cube, which is 0.157 moles per dm cube. V is the volume of iodine used, which is the average tidal value. VB is the volume of thiosulfate pipetted, which is 25 cm cube. And NA over NB is the mole ratio of iodine to thiosulfate in the balance equation of reaction, which is 1 over 2. The volume of B pipetted actually depends on the size of pipettes available in your schools. This will also affect your tidal values. We well, use either 25 or 20 cm cube for the examinations. So for a titration, we use a 25 cm cube capacity pipette. Make CA the subject of formula and substitute the values and evaluate correctly. If you want to earn your A1 in this paper, please don't jump any step. Whenever you are given an impure sample, always expect a question on percentage purity. 
So to calculate the percentage purity or percentage by mass of iodine in the sample, we use the formula percentage purity of iodine in the sample equals to mass of pure iodine in 1 dm cube divided by mass of impure iodine sample in 1 dm cube times 100. But the concentration of iodine in A in grams per dm cube is given as concentration of iodine in grams per dm cube equals the concentration of iodine in moles per dm cube times molar mass of iodine in grams per mole. And the molar mass of iodine is calculated as shown on the screen, which equals 254 grams per mole. Don't forget to always use the appropriate units. Substituting the values of the molar concentration of iodine and its molar mass into the above equation, the concentration of iodine in A in grams per dm cube will be say x grams per dm cube. Therefore, the percentage purity of the iodine will be approximately y percent. Your percentage purity can be in two decimal places. The starch aldehyde was added to the titration mixture at the beginning of the titration to know when all the thiosulfate ions would be used up. When this happens, the next drop of the iodine solution will combine with the starch indicator to form a starch iodide complex which has a blue-black color, thereby indicating the end of the reaction. Question 2 A is a solution of iodine. B is a solution of sodium thiosulfate containing 6.2 grams of the salt in 250 cm3 of solution. Put A into the burret, prepare 20 or 25 cm3 of B into a conical flask and add about 3 drops of starch solution indicator and titrate with A. Repeat the titration to obtain concordant titer values, tabulate your readings and calculate the average volume of A used. The equation of reaction is as shown on the screen. From your results and information provided, calculate the concentration of B in moles per dm cube, concentration of A in moles per dm cube, and the number of moles of thiosulfate ions in 500 cm cube of its solution. In this question, we are standardizing iodine with a known concentration of sodium thiosulfate because no other information is provided on iodine. So, to calculate the concentration of B in moles per dm cube, we must first of all determine the concentration of B in grams per dm cube. And to do that, we will use the formula that connects it with mass and volume in dm cube, which is concentration of thiosulfate in grams per dm cube equals to mass of thiosulfate times 1000 over volume in cm cube. Please note that the volume used in calculating the concentration of a solution in grams per dm cube is always the one stated in the descriptive information about the solution which is always provided at the beginning of the question and not any of the volumes used in the titration. So in this case, the volume is 250 cm cube. Using the factor 1000 over volume in cm cube converts the volume from cm cube to dm cube because 1000 cm cube makes 1 dm cube. Having calculated the mass concentration of the sodium thiosulfate solution, we can apply the same formula and steps we use in question 1bi to calculate the concentration of B in moles per dm cube, which is 0.157 moles per dm cube in three significant figures. Doing that correctly ends you three marks. To calculate the concentration of A in moles per dm cube, we'll apply the same formula and steps we use in question 1bii. When we do that, we will obtain the same molar concentration of the iodine solution as in question 1bii which is 1.9625 over VA moles per dm cube in three significant figures. Solving this correctly ends you 4 marks. To calculate the number of moles of the thiosulfate ion in 500 cm cube of its solution, we use the formula that connects number of moles of a solution and the volume of the solution which is Number of moles of thiosulfate ion equals the concentration of thiosulfate ion in moles per dm cube times volume in dm cube. The volume to be used here must be the volume stated in this particular question, which in this case is 500 cm cube, and it must be converted to dm cube by dividing by 1000. Therefore, substituting the values of the molar concentration of the thiosulfate solution and the volume in dm cube into the equation, 
we will obtain 0 0.0785 mole as the answer. Question 3. A is the solution of an oxidizing agent containing 0.1 mole of the oxidizing agent per dm cube of solution. B is a solution containing sodium thiosulfate. Put A into the burette and titrate with 20 or 25 cm cube portions of B using starch solution as indicator. Record the volume of your pipette and repeat the titration to obtain consistent tital values. Tabulate your results and calculate the average volume of acid used. The equation for the reaction is as shown on the screen. From your results and information given, calculate the concentration of B in moles per dm cube, number of moles of the oxidizing agent in the average titer, number of moles of sodium thiosulfate in the volume of B pipetted. Suggest what the oxidizing agent in A could be, giving reasons for your answer. As earlier stated, from the masses of the reagents provided by WIEC in their instructions, it is obvious that the concentration of the thiosulfate is higher than the concentration of iodine, and given the volatility of iodine and its difficult dissolution in the potassium iodized solution, it is almost impossible to get a standard solution of iodine. However, since you were told to use 25.4 grams of iodine, which is 0.1 mole of iodine in 6 grams per dm cube of potassium iodide, which acts as a solvent, Wyatt can easily assume the concentration of iodine in the solution to be 0.1 mole per dm cube. In this question, we are standardizing the thiosulfate solution with a known concentration of the oxidizing agent because no other information is provided on the thiosulfate solution apart from its name. This question is highly probable because the mass of the thiosulfate given in the instructions does not give us a whole number mole ratio when compared with the mass of iodine. Hence, they need to standardize it with the iodine solution. And irrespective of your average tighter value, you will always get a calculated mole ratio of 1 ratio 2 if you do the right thing. So, to calculate the concentration of B in moles per dm cube, we will use the mole ratio formula which connects the concentrations and volumes of the oxidizing and reducing agents with their number of moles and that is CABA over CBVB equals to 1 over 2 because we know the values of all the parameters except CB. All parameters retain their usual meanings. Make CB the subject of formula and substitute the values to obtain 0 0.008 VA moles per dm cube in three significant figures. To calculate the number of moles of the oxidizing agent in the average titer, we use that formula that connects the number of moles of a solution, its concentration and volume, which is number of moles of the oxidizing agent in VA equals the concentration of A in moles per dm cube times volume in dm cube. Substituting and evaluating we obtain 0.0001 VA mole. Similarly, to calculate the number of moles of sodium thiosulfate in the volume of B pipetted, we use the same formula, that is, number of moles of sodium thiosulfate in 25 cm cube equals the concentration of sodium thiosulfate in moles per dm cube times volume in dm cube, but using 0.025 dm cube as the volume. Substituting the values of the concentration and volume, you will obtain 0.0002 VA mole. The oxidizing agent could be iodine because iodine is the diatomic molecular oxidizing agent that will combine with starch to form a blue-black complex. So the table of values of a titration in the first part of this tutorial is as shown on the screen. To watch that video, click on the link appearing now on the top right corner of your screen or you can check the description. The tighter value is high because of the higher concentration of the thiosulfate ions than the iodine molecules. Hence, more volume of the iodine solution Will be required to completely react with 25 cm cube of the thiosulfate solution. 
The table as seen on the screen will earn you 8 marks if you observe all the rules and also have at least two concordant values, while the calculation of the average data will earn you two marks if presented the way it is on the screen. Concordant values are those two tighter values with a difference of not more than plus or minus 0.2 cm cube between them. In our own case, all the three values in green are concordant, but we are using the ones with the closest margin to calculate our average tighter value, and that is 47.80 cm cube. Note, as students, your title values will be marked based on your teacher's report. So please use the values, if any, provided by your teachers. If this video was helpful to you in any way, drop a comment and give us a like. If this is your first time here, subscribe to our channel and turn on your notification bell to stay updated with our new uploads. A wise man once said, the root of education is bitter but its fruit is sweet. So don't just go to school, but be educated. Stay safe till I see you when I'll see you.